Hey guys, it's Absi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited as usual to share another video with you. And in this video, I want to show you an amazing free tool that I use to do keyword research. I use this tool to do keyword research for my website, for my blog, for my YouTube channel. And I use it literally for free. So I thought I'd show you in this tutorial how you as well can do keyword research for free. And you can attest that investing in those paid tools for keyword research for seo tool can be overly expensive you need to invest a ham and a leg like i said to use a tool like Ahrefs, simrush and all these keyword research and seo tools but in this tutorial i'll show you a tool that is literally free and to save you a lot of money so without further ado let's go to my laptop screen and let me show you this tool on my screen here is a website called promoterkids.com. It's beyond just keyword research. You can use this tool to do quite a number of SEO tasks. Uh, but for the purpose of this example, let's just come down to SEO here and then we can see our keyword research tool which I want us to spend time on in this tutorial. So this is it here. This is the tool. Super simple, super easy, clean platform. But can guarantee you that the results you get with this tool is the same as you get with other paid tools out there. I have done my experiment over time and I can tell you for a fact. As so right now, you can come down here, you can create a free account. You can use this tool without creating an account and that's quite amazing but you get limited resources. Uh, so if you type in a keyword here, you will just get like about 10 uh, results, 10 keywords but if you log in create a free account and sign in and then do your search you will get um, a limited amount of results and that's quite fantastic to do so if you are coming to this tool for the very first time what you want to do is just come up here hit the sign up button create a free account with your email and then you have access to the account but just because i have an account i will try to log in so that you can see exactly how this is done so I click the login button and then I can get logged in. So already I'm logged in with this account. Uh, so that's it. So if you come down here to SEO and uh, you come down to keyword tools, so you can see that you can literally start playing with keywords. So let's say for example, I am into WordPress tutorials and I want to create how to find keywords around WordPress tutorials. So I can just type in WordPress. WordPress tutorials, English, my website is fantastic and then I'll eat this room. I am not a robot, I'll capture and then I'll eat the find button. So we have details now here for WordPress tutorials so we can see monthly search volume is 3006, the paid competition is 22, uh, CPC is $1 jail about and then we can see the trend for these keywords. So if we come down here we can see related keywords and that's quite fantastic. So we can see the CPC for uh, the which is cost per click for this keyword, the paid competition, and then we can see the monthly search volume. Uh, this is fantastic. So you can see we have 211 keywords here, and we can filter these based on the CPC or based on the volume or based on the paid competition. So if I click uh, monthly volume right now. So you can see that I have uh, all the keywords with zero volume here. I, and then it start progressing. So we can come back up here and if we click the monthly volume again, so you can see now that it's giving us keywords now with the highest volume and then it's now decreasing. These are the keywords people are searching for. And then we can come to paid competition in case you want to filter down with that, you can click this as well. And then you can see zero, you can just come up here. So, right now, WooCommerce tutorial, WordPress tutorials for the e commerce website is having a lot of paid competition. And the cost per click is zero, so you can also click this as well. And you can see we have zero now, and then we click this again, so we can see again. You can still come down to the keyword here and just click this plus button, and then you can see the trend for this keyword. Uh, that's fantastic. So you can come down, play around with all of the keywords that you want, and then you can export them. You can just easily come here to export all of them or your selected keywords. Isn't this amazing? So you can come down here and still use your bulk keyword tool. And that's quite fantastic too as well. It's a feature you can use. You can just put all your keywords here and then you can just get results. 
Uh, so you can experiment with this tool. I believe these things are super simple and useful. You can come to Question Hub, backlink checkers, you can check backlinks for your website or for a specific URL to see what URL, uh, what backlinks your page or your blog post is having, or maybe your competitor too as well. And that's fantastic. If you know the backlink structure of your competitor, you can easily create the same structure too for and the website and I'll do the competitors. We all know that Ahrefs is one of the most expensive SEO and keyword research tool out there. You can come down here yourself and then put in URL here, check the backlink and then come here as well to check uh, backlink for your URL and then you can compare the results and you can see that what you're getting here is literally what you'll be paying so much to get with Ahrefs. So this tool is free but trust me it's cool. You can just easily put your domain here to see all the keywords that you are ranking for. You can do this with your competitors as well so that you can experiment. You can see exactly what keywords are ranking for and then you can also start reaching or fighting to rank for those keywords. You can do the same thing for YouTube as well. I use this tool to do keyword research on my YouTube channel to find extremely important uh, YouTube uh, keywords that will help me rank my videos. Uh, also, another paid tool for YouTube is vidIQ, so you can also use vidIQ as well. I have tested with this to see that I will get the same result I will get with vidIQ as well as if I do this with uh, this tool. So, for example, let's just say WordPress tutorial and then I search. So this is telling me that I have the site volume of 4,362 and the competition is 50. So for example, I can copy the same keyword here and I have three uh, related keywords. So I will have to pay more for me to be able to see more keywords. So if I come down to these two, for example, and then I paste the same keyword here and then I find You can see we are getting literally the same result 4413. So this is saying 4365, literally very close. And then you can see the rank difficulty is 5.8, literally the same thing we have there. And then we have keywords here that we can use 58 keywords for that matter. We are getting this literally for free. Uh, this is quite amazing. This will help you to keyword research for your YouTube, for your website. So you can come to this tool here, mutaki.com, and experiment. And let me know the result you get in the comment section. I would love to hear. I would love to get the feedback from you. So that's it for this tutorial. If this video has been useful, give me a thumbs up. And also ensure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any videos from me in the future. And that's my time for this video. I'll see you in another video. And until then, take care and have a nice time.